Hi, and welcome to another video. So a funny thing happened the other day. <laughs> um, so, first of all, the brain. Think of it as, a, a, as plastic, and it can bend and twist, and it does all these things. And when we're thinking, when we've had thoughts, memories, whatever, our brain's constantly moving and adjusting. Things like that putting in new pathways and, and all that, so we have new memories, so on and so on. Anyway, <clears throat> my um, my mum had some clothes that she wanted to sell, and uh, she was struggling to find a place to take decent photos for him to put them online. And... Um, <clears throat> I said that my girlfriend had got this mannequin and I could picture this mannequin. It was in her walking wardrobe thing in the corner, like a dressmaker's mannequin, you know, just the torso bit. And it had got a, a brown or black plastic stand. I can see it, right? So I'll tell her mum, she's got this mannequin. So I'll ask her when I go, if you can borrow it. My mum messages my girlfriend and says uh chris had said you got this mannequin can i borrow it take these photos she replies back i haven't got one so i'm like okay maybe uh, i've seen it somewhere else her uh <coughs> excuse me her sister helped i helped them move house um last year in the summer and I, maybe I saw it there in the loft or in the, the spare room. But I definitely saw it now in my memory. Can, has put this exact same mannequin, same colour, everything, in their spare room next to the chair that is now in their new living room that was in their spare room. And it's there. I can see it, right? So I says to my girlfriend, I says, has your sister got one then? Because I've definitely seen one somewhere. She's like, she's never had one. Well, she has. She's like, I can see it. It's there. I can picture it. They've got one. Am I down the tip now? But they did have one. Found the sister up. <coughs> so we get to the whole thing again. Mannequin. Blah, 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 blah. Turns out, I don't know where I've seen this mannequin that my brain has added into this picture but there wasn't one never has been one and that's the thing that's why all memories are lies you see your brain will add things so we always have a conversation and i'm wearing a black top now dark top you might be wearing a bright, bright blue one In a few weeks' time, in my mind, you might have been wearing a red top. But it'll be there, and I'll be seeing this red top and us having this conversation. And it'll be a reality, because it's in our mind. <clears throat> but it's utter bollocks. It is utter rubbish. And all memories are rubbish, because the brain has changed bits, added bits, all the bits to make it into something. So we can play it like we're watching a film or see it as if we're looking at a picture. It's usually like we're watching a film. And I work with clients with PTSD. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and myself, I had PTSD. And I know for the fact that the image that was haunting me that when I look back now, it was up to bollocks. It didn't happen. So I had this memory of my dad dying at home and um, come with that then after was all the guilt that I didn't help him on his way and, and all of that. So what my brain then did was piece together this movie, if you like, of horrible crap that happened throughout the night. But it didn't happen that way. 
then it attaches these emotions to it the guilt the anger the the, the frustration the shame whatever it may be and now it's fixed now and when we have that memory it triggers those reactions same as when we have a, a happy memory it triggers happy emotions but we're not too bothered about that because we can think about that we can think about the holidays the parties the nights out whatever it is <clears throat> but when it comes to the bad shit the memories that cause us to have those nightmares or even when you're awake in the day and, and, and they're just there haunting you over and over again because that emotion has been linked to it. And each time we think of these things, we're reliving it. So if we're thinking of the trauma, we relive it. That's why I don't believe talking helps. Talking therapy helps, like counselling, CBT. Because it's about images. Alter the image, because the image is a lie. So it can make a complete lie. The emotion's gone, because it, you can't have a negative emotion for something that, really didn't happen um so yeah so i look like a complete and not a fruitcake on about this bloody dress mannequin and i still want to know where i've seen it because i've seen it somewhere someone i know has got one but who that's the mystery so yeah all memories are lies Remember that all thoughts are lies, to be fair. The, the thoughts that create anxiety, the for, thoughts of the future, they haven't happened. It hasn't happened. The event hasn't happened. You've created it. You've made it up. It's a lie. Now, what we tell ourselves it generates an image in our head, and then we feel what we tell ourselves. But again, it's a lie. But tell yourself good lawyers so you get good emotions, good feelings, and that pushes you then to deal with the now, because that's all that matters is the now. Yeah. Just uh thought I'd share that one with you. Um if you've had any weird experiences like that, drop them in the comments. I'd like to hear about them, read about them. I'm Chris Harrison, hypnotist, therapist and coach, creator of self-care focus therapy. Have a great day. And if you drop me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel, that'd be brilliant. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.